The video just left us heartbroken. A young Upper Darby teen kicked and beaten by bullies at his own school. Well, now this brave student is being given the opportunity of a lifetime. A big show of support from Deshaun Jackson and the Philadelphia Eagles. NBC 10's Claudia Rivero is live in Drexel Hill where she spoke with the teen about this fairy tale ending to his ordeal. Claudia? Well, Renee, by now thousands, if not millions of people across the country have seen that video, including Deshaun Jackson. I spoke with him tonight. He says he saw the video, found it so disturbing, he had to do something about it. When I went out there, I thought they were just going to ask me questions. But instead, Nate and Corey got the surprise of a lifetime. That's my favorite athlete. That's uh, my favorite football player. Um, I always wanted to meet him. I never thought I would. He did, live on national TV. When he said uh, um, Deshaun Jackson, I started to cry. Naden and his family were on The View to talk about his horrifying encounter with bullies when suddenly some Philadelphia Eagles, Deshaun Jackson, Jamal Jackson, and Todd Harriman showed up. When he took off, when he took off his jersey and signed and gave it to me, I'm like, oh, wow, he, oh, God, are you serious? Is, he, is this really real? I looked at it, and I'm like, oh, my God. I started to cry even more. I said, Deshaun Jackson just gave me his jersey that he just took off his back and gave it to me. I was so excited. By now, you've probably heard Naden's story. He's the 13-year-old seen in this disturbing video, getting taunted, dragged through the snow, punched, kicked, and thrown in a tree by a group of boys. It touched my heart as soon as I heard it, and I just wanted to come support this guy. Deshaun Jackson saw the video. He and his teammates wanted to let Naden know they are on his side. Naden, he's, he's very brave and, you know, to step up and, and you know, take on that role because a lot of kids are getting bullied in their scared to come up and, you know, tell their parents. All seven of Naden's alleged attackers, students at Upper Darby High School's alternative school program, remain in a juvenile detention center. In many ways, Naden says he's the one getting the last laugh. For that some that was bad, that was really bad to me, it turned out to be a good thing at the end, like that good things actually do happen. Now, Naden is also a student at the same alternative school here at Upper Darby High School as his alleged attackers. He hasn't been back to campus yet. Live in Drexel Hill, Clyde Rivero, NBC 10 News. No.